As a science fiction and fantasy fan, it seems rare that I'm reading a book that is shorter than 500 pages, sometimes up to 800 pages, sometimes over that, up to a thousand or more pages. After reading a book like that, I often end up with what we call a book hangover. Welcome to Mad on Books, where I talk about fantasy mostly, science fiction sometimes, and comics occasionally. Good to see you again. Where I just feel a little overwhelmed and still very focused on the previous book. I learned in the last six months that it's a really good idea for me to insert other things in between those big, chonky books. Be it a novella or a sprinkling of short stories. That's the subject today, is short stories. I've been buying up short story collections of all sorts, and I'm only dividing them into two categories. One is a book that is short stories all by one author, and books that are collections of short stories by a bunch of different authors. A big reason for me to buy a short story collection, and in some cases the only reason I bought a particular short story collection, is that one of my favorite authors, wrote a short story set in my favorite world that they write in. So it's sort of supplementary material. They don't always connect too clearly, but it's just nice to feel that you've gotten a little bit more of the world of Malaz and Book of the Fallen, or a little bit more of the world of the realm of the elderlings, or what have you. I should also say, the way I read short story collections is... I don't read the book, I read the stories. Which is to say, I will read one story in one book and two stories in a different book and then jump back to a third book and read one story and so on. So a lot of these, I've only read one or two stories or half of the book, maybe not the whole thing. So let's get into it. One of my all time favorite authors, Robin Hobb. If you know the channel, I am rereading The Realm of the Elderlings, which is Robin Hobb's 16 book series, all set in the same world, in different places in the world. And she has a short story collection called The Inheritance. It has one story called Homecoming, which is set in the world of The Realm of the Elderlings. All of the other stories, so far I have not read, but I will. Some are written under her other name, her, I think, real name, Megan Lindholm which is where she writes some other novels which are not Realm of the Elder Links. Uh, she's an amazing writer. She's an amazing character writer. And I look forward to reading all of these short stories. If you know the channel, you are aware of the Sunday Pub, which is a live stream that I do every Sunday in the evening. Anybody can join and a bunch of people have been on screen with me. A bunch of people have been in the comments and it's turning out to be awesome for recommendations. And one of the things that someone mentioned is Fragile Things by Neil Gaiman, a collection of short, his short stories. I only just bought this. I have not read any of these stories yet, but I know that he's also got another, I forget what it's called, but he's got another short story collection, which I will probably also get. I can't wait to read this because I love his stories. Sandman, for example, is probably my favorite comic of all time, maybe tied with Hellboy. I love the way he tells stories. I love his mix of wonder and normality, usually. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. I've mentioned it before on the channel and I will keep mentioning it because it is awesome. The Paper Menagerie by Ken Liu. Ken Liu is maybe most famous for the Dandelion Dynasty, a quartet of books, which I have not read yet, but they're on my TBR for this year. The Paper Menagerie is a collection of short stories, and one of the stories is called The Paper Menagerie. This was stunning. This, I actually did just read through the whole thing, which I usually don't do with short stories. I've read all of the stories in this. All of them are good. Most of them are absolute bangers. It's really, really good. Very emotional in places. Um, uh, emotional to the point that it surprised me. I loved this and highly recommend it. And because I read this, again, a recommendation from the Sunday Pub, somebody said, oh, if you liked the paper menagerie, you should get The Hidden Girl, which is a bunch of stories, again, by Ken Liu. 
And I believe there's a third collection. I forget the name, I'm afraid. I'll put it up on the screen. More short stories by Ken Liu, yes please. And last but not least, at least for this video, in the single author collection section, Ray Bradbury, The Illustrated Man. I had had Ray Bradbury on my TBR for about 30 years. I knew that you should read some Ray Bradbury and I never did. And last year I read Something Wicked This Way Comes and it immediately became one of my favorite creepy weirdness novels. He was a stunning writer who evokes memory extremely well, which not everybody does, but a lot of things he wrote reminded me of my past experiences, my childhood, things I've experienced, even though it's a weird story. And this is a collection of his short stories. I've heard of it a million times. I've never owned it. I've never read it. I can't wait to do that. So I grab multi-author short story collections for two reasons. One is, like I said, you might have a favorite author and just getting more of them and maybe more of them writing in the world that you love. That of course is awesome. The other reason I get these books though is to taste test. Might be a story in there by an author that you've heard of that you might be interested in reading and you don't necessarily wanna to commit to their 10 book series or something. Or maybe uh, like one of these collections, there are authors you've never even heard of and it's just a great low commitment way to try something out see if the way that author tells their stories appeals to you and then maybe look into them further. The Book of Swords. This has a bunch of quite well-known authors in it, such as Robin Hobb and Kim Liu and KJ Parker and a number of others. I'll put up a list here. Uh, edited by Gardner Dezoy. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is a series. There are two Books of Swords, although I think it was published in the UK as two books and in the US as one. I've got two, but let's just talk about the first one for now. It has uh, a number of interesting stories. I've only read one of them so far, the Robin Hobb one, which is set in the world of the Realm of the Elderlings, the Six Duchies, and was a creepy and kind of intense little story. Uh, I read it yesterday. I'm really looking forward to reading the whole thing, especially because uh, Robin Hobb, Ken Liu, uh, Daniel Abraham, CJ Cherry, all of them are authors I have read that I am really, really looking forward to reading more of. And it's interesting to see how an author deals with a short story because it's a very different thing, obviously, than writing a novel. Uh, KJ Parker. Garth Nix are a couple of authors that I've heard a lot about but never read. Good way to try them out, low commitment. And the other authors I have not heard of, but I'm always up for trying something out. The second Book of Swords is a slightly different list of authors. I haven't read any of this yet, but Scott Lynch, for example, Elizabeth Bear, who is Scott Lynch's wife, uh, and George R. R. Martin, are authors I've read before that I like quite a lot. And again, the other authors I've either never read or never heard of even, and what a great way to try them out. This one, Swords and Dark Magic. I bought this exclusively for the Steven Erickson story that is set in the Malazan world. It's called Goats of Glory, which I think is an awesome name, <laughs> especially when you get into the story and you find out why it's called Goats of Glory. I had to search for this. I had to buy it from a books used because it wasn't available on Amazon in Germany anymore. It was published quite a while ago, 13 years ago in 2010. So it may be completely out of print. It may be kind of hard to find. I'm not sure. Like I said, I had to go to A Books and pay a little more than it probably originally cost just to get it used. But it's got a pretty serious cast of authors. Glenn Cook with a Black Company story, CJ Cherry, Joe Abercrombie. Like I said, 
the list is here. It's a really cool collection considering how many big name authors that I love are in this and how many of their stories are set in the main world that they write in. This is one of those comes out every year kind of things. The Year's Best Fantasy Volume 1. I think they're up to Volume 4 or something in this particular edition. Volume 3. This one came out in 2022. So all of the authors are people who you should actually be able to get books from. And they might even be putting out new books every year or two. Again, here's the complete list of all of the authors. But just looking at the cover, uh, most of the authors were people I hadn't really heard of. And I really like giving a new author a chance and maybe then buying their first book and seeing how it is. I think the short story collections like this are a great way to discover authors that you've never heard of before. I haven't gotten to this one yet. I will be discussing it on the Fireside Discord. If you haven't joined, there's a link down below. Uh, I'll let everybody know what I think of this as soon as I get to it. And I look forward to discovering some new authors. And one that's maybe even better for totally unknown to me new authors is specifically called New Voices of Fantasy. Uh, edited by Peter S. Beagle, who I have heard of, but I believe, just looking at the author list, I've never heard of any of these authors. And it's a, a collection specifically created to promote lesser known authors, new voices. So I can't wait to get to this. Also, just looking at the names, this is maybe a poor assumption to make, but looking at a lot of the names in here, they are not your typical mainstream American or British people. There are a lot of names that sound Asian in here. There are a lot of Indian sounding names. Uh, maybe South American or Mexican. Again, I don't know the authors, so I don't actually know that this is the case, but there are a lot of non-typical sounding names in here. So I'm hoping for some non-typical, non-average medieval fantasy uh, as well in these stories. So that's it for now, but I am collecting short stories I would like to have quite a large selection of them because between every chunkier, more involved book that I'm reading this year, I will be sprinkling in a few short stories and occasionally a novella, something a bit shorter, just to sort of, I kind of hate the term palette cleanser, but it does fit. To cleanse my reading palette, so to speak. If you know of some awesome short story collections that I have not mentioned, please tell me down in the comments or on the Fireside Discord, which uh, again is linked down below in the description. And I hope you are well. I hope you're reading awesome short stories occasionally, and I will see you next time.